Uh, but if you've not heard, uh, the uh, reports were not satire. This was not the work of Sports Talk Barry or the Babylon Bee. Uh, it turns out that Doc Rivers, the good Doc, Doc Rivers, not a real doctor, has reached agreement in principle to take over the Bucks. He is the new coach of the Bucks, and he will be the coach of the Milwaukee Bucks shortly. Now, Milwaukee's GM, somebody named John Horst, we think we're saying that right, and he was asked a bunch of questions about the you know, standard protocol in the NBA, your star players getting the coach fired, and uh, and all that. Of course, uh, he followed the rules of engagement, the game of charades that so many people in that business do in professional basketball. Uh, he denied that the Bucks had any input from Giannis Adentacumbo and Dame Lillard. He said that the idea of input from players is what led uh, him to fire uh, Adrian Griffin. Is uh, He just dismissed it out of hand. He, uh, Horse, uh, the GM there in Milwaukee, said he wanted to improve the group at a coaching level to maximize the Milwaukee basketball team's championship window uh, this season. So, of course, you hire a guy that is the conductor of choke Doc Rivers to be your coach, that certainly solves the championship window thing that you're worried about. So let us break it down, toss it up, put some cayenne pepper on it, put it in the oven, and have a grand old time. So the question, now that it's a done deal, now that it's official, it's not a rumor anymore, it's official, 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 did the Bucks make a mistake hiring Glenn Doc Rivers as the coach. So I've got human cannonball, box jellyfish, and genetics. And we will combine all of these things together, and we are going to make a wide open, wide open three-point shot, which is missed 99% of the time in a playoff game by a Doc Rivers coached team in the fourth quarter. So first of all, the answer to this question, it's a rhetorical question, did the Bucks make a mistake hiring uh, Doc Rivers. Did the person that was doing the test on Chernobyl hit the wrong button? I think that is the case. I wasn't there. I don't know. I wasn't in Russia. But I think they were doing a test, and they screwed it up. And, yeah, that was user error, uh, Chernobyl. In the case of the Bucks, it's just gross negligence by the Milwaukee Bucks to bring Doc Rivers in. Shame on you, right? The the GM, they're running interference for the star players, which is what you expect. That's that's the guy running the naked bootleg. Uh, but Doc Rivers is the living embodiment of the Peter principle. You uh, rise up to your highest level of incompetence, and then you stay there. And we we have a pretty good idea, now, as, as we understand it, and who knows if this is true or not, but as we understand it, Giannis and Dame both signed off on this. They rubber stamped Doc Rivers, which makes us question the basketball IQ of Giannis and Dame Lillard. Now, they are playing in the playoffs often, so maybe they haven't watched the other teams in the playoffs. Maybe they haven't experienced the full Doc Rivers uh, thing. But you would think with Doc in Philadelphia, Giannis uh, benefiting against the Sixers and Dame Lillard in the West and uh, seeing – when when Doc was coaching the Clippers, uh, Dame's been around for a while, so these guys have been around. But Doc Rivers to Milwaukee, a team with championship pedigree, it's a pit of curiosities is what it is, right? It, it's, it's like a carnival attraction at a, mixed with a train wreck uh, is, is what it is. Because right next to the human cannonball, you've got the fire-breathing grandma, you've got the, uh, the hairy woman, uh, which has become very popular these days, but uh, you, you've got that, uh, and it's just not squeamish for the, uh, not for the squeamish or the faint of heart. I think is what they say it in the circus, right? It's uh, not going to end well. Now, secondly, who benefits if if Doc Rivers is as bad as we think he is? Who benefits from Doc Rivers taking over in Milwaukee? So I circled two names, two names. I've got Joel Embiid and Jason Tatum. Because if you look at the big board, the path just got a little easier. The path got a little easier in the Eastern Conference. It's bundled up in the East. The Celtics are the top regular season team. But Milwaukee's got uh, talent. The the Heat, obviously, uh, we've seen them in the playoffs, even if they're not that great during the regular season. 
some hocus pocus in the playoffs and you, you go around and then Philadelphia's got talent. Now they don't have Doc Rivers. Maybe things will work out in Philadelphia. Um, but here's the thing. Uh, you look around and, and if you're in a playoff series against the Bucks and Milwaukee's up three games to one or three games to none, all it takes is a Doc Rivers pep talk to cause the team to get shivers and it goes, shiver me timbers, uh, or just timber uh, for the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Doc Rivers is booby-trapped at this point. The media guys like him. He's a good quote. We've talked about that many times, so it's a good soundbite and all that. But he is booby-trapped. He's essentially being dropped. When you when you coach like Doc Rivers, your team in playoff games, it's like being dropped into a tank with – Thousands of box jellyfish, the most venomous animal in the world, the box jellyfish. People aren't scared of jellyfish, but the box, according to the sciences, the box jellyfish is the most venomous uh, creature in the land. Uh, but don't worry, Doc, Doc Rivers again, he's a good quote. Sounds like he knows what he's doing. He'll say the right things and then watch his team go out there and pee in the pool. Uh, that's usually what happens. All right, final thought turning the page. We're going to pivot and throw a bounce pass. To wisdom from Shaq. Now, Shaquille O'Neal recently ruffled some feathers in the Bay Area. Why? Why? What did he do? Uh, Shaq stated that he would prefer to play with Dame Lillard rather than Stephen Curry. Say what? Uh, Yeah, so uh, why? Well, Shaq's analysis was that in clutch situations, close, late clutch situations, that you're just better off. That Dame Lillard's the the way to go, uh, because Lillard is a better standstill shooter, according to Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, so where are you at on this one? Where are you at on Shaquille O'Neal's take that he'd rather play with Dame Lillard, that Dame Lillard's better than Steph Curry in those situations? So it's it's hard to disagree with this if you've watched basketball uh, over the over the years here. I think that's kind of a salient point by Shaq. I don't think it's an outrageous point. People are. Some people up in arms that this is slander against Stephen Curry. Uh, I don't believe it is. Steph Curry can be a game changer, a guy that changed the NBA. He can also be a guy that you don't want to take the last shot of a game. Both of these things can be simultaneously true. LeBron James is not a guy you want to take the last shot either. LeBron chokes quite often. In fact, he'll often defer. Uh, he's often afraid to take the last shot unless the game is tied and he knows the game will go to overtime. We're not supposed to talk about that part out loud. But uh, Steph Curry, when you break down his game and all the three-point shots and all that, uh, Shaq is drinking from the punch bowl of wisdom on this one. Right? It's it's Steph is deficient in pressure genetics. The term the clutch gene comes to mind, if that's such a thing. And Steph Curry fans are going to have to take the L on this. Uh, Curry changed the game of basketball. I don't disagree. Every little punk kid that comes along now thinks they can shoot the ball from midcourt because they're Steph Curry 2.0. Is that better for basketball? Is that worse for basketball? Uh, That's open to interpretation. But the fact that if you had possession of the ball down by a point and 1.1 seconds left and you have to pick one, Steph Curry or Dame Lillard, who are you going to pick? Well, I know the answer. You're going to pick. Uh, you're going to pick the, uh, Dame Lillard. That's a fact, Jack. 